Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to find alternative to aerogod and nutrients. I found this general hydroponics maxi grow. This is part of maxi series which has maxi grow and maxi bloom. For this experiment, I am growing bok choy. So I am not worrying about blooming or fruiting. All I need is growing some good leaves and this maxi grow is meant for that purpose. If it works for bok choy, I can assume it works for herbs, lettuce, etc. Just to remind myself, I labeled each garden with a uh, aero garden and uh, maxi grow so that I can put right nutrients into right garden. My gardens are ready with pots. I'm filling the water. Now comes the nutrition. Package says one to two teaspoons per gallon of water. I am taking an average which is one and a half teaspoons of nutrition per gallon. The aerogodon harvest tank capacity is nearly 0.6 gallons. So I am going to add 0.8 teaspoons of nutrition with every feed. I have a little bit of water in this can. I am going to take 0.8 teaspoon of nutrition, which is a little bit less than the full teaspoon. This is approximately 0.8 teaspoons. Now I am going to close this bottle with cap and do some shot. Okay, now all the solids are dissolved. I'm going to add this now. Now we are about in. One cap. Two caps. Light. Of course, Aero Garden is so straightforward but expensive. Okay, it's been seven days. Let's check the progress in both. First, with Maxi Grow, I can see all seeds sprouted and the plants are doing well. I also see the third leaf started growing on many seedlings. Now let's see the plants with AG nutrients. All seeds germinated here as well and I see the third leaf on many plants. But when we compare the plants with AG nutrients with the plants with Maxi Grow, I can clearly see the difference. The plants with AG are growing pretty nicely. Like I can see they are more than one inch taller already. But the plants with Maxi Grow or not the taller they are just above the pods they are probably half an inch it's been 14 days the plants are doing good in general but i can see the plants in aerogarden with aerogarden nutrients are doing better compared to the plants growing with maxi grow let's start with aerogarden i see the plants in four pods doing very well in aerogarden the plants in two pods are doing well, but they are not similar to the other plants. So here, the plants growing with Maxi Grow are also doing good. I see at least four pods are good. Plants in two pods are not equal to other plants. Let's compare the height of plants in each garden. So here, in Aero Garden, I see they are about two inches here. 
even the last one is one and a half inch. Now coming to maxi grow, one plant is about one and a half inch and other two or one inch or less than one inch. So at this point, I can say the plants with uh, AG nutrients are doing good, but uh, maxi grow is also doing fine. They're a little bit slower, but the growth wise they are doing very well. Since it's been 14 days, it's time to add nutrients again. I'm not going to change the water in the bowl. I'll keep the same water, but I'll just add the nutrients. I'm taking a little bit of fresh tap water. Last time I added 0.8 teaspoon of nutrients. This time I am increasing a little bit. I am taking a full teaspoon of nutrients. Here is the full teaspoon of nutrients. Shake, shake, shake. So the nutrients are completely dissolved. I don't see any solids. Now I am going to pour this into the garden. Alright, the maxi grow nutrition going into maxi grow garden. It's time for aero garden. This one cap, two caps. All right, they are good to go. It's been three weeks. Plants are pretty competitive. First, let's start with the plants growing with Maxi Grow. I see the plants are growing very decent. They are very close to the plants growing with Aero Garden nutrients. Of course, the plants with Aero Garden nutrients are a bit bigger. I see the leaves are a little bit bigger compared to the plants growing with Maxi Grow. But uh, from the beginning, I am seeing little slow. Uh, last week, I increased the nutrients a little bit. I think that's helping these plants. I see pretty good growth this week. I think the one tablespoon of nutrients is right amount. Uh, I'm going to stick to that. It's been four weeks. Things have changed drastically now. Bok choy with Maxi Grow outgrown the bok choy with Aero Garden nutrients. Look at these plants growing with Maxi Grow. These are the biggest leaves I ever saw in this breed. Look at these leaves. Wow. So big. Now look at the bok choy growing with Aero Garden nutrients. These are growing great too. The plants and leaves are doing very well here also. Just for testing, I am growing some of the same breed bok choy here in Ido. I gave nutrients only at the beginning and I did not give uh, any more nutrients afterwards. It's been 27 days. I can see the greens are not that green. They are pretty yellowish and I don't see the plants haven't grown that great. So what this tells is bok choy really needs decent amount of nutrients. That's how I can clearly see the difference between plants growing with Maxi Grow versus the plants growing with Aero Garden. Overall, I am very impressed with Maxi Grow nutrients. Now on, I am going to use Maxi Grow for the plants that doesn't bloom or fruit, such as bok choy, lettuce, mustard greens, spinach, etc. Last thing I want to share with you all is this 3 ounce Aero Garden nutrition bottle can feed 11 times. But this 2.2 LBs of Maxi Grow Dry Nutrition will feed 200 times, which is 18 times more than Aero Garden Nutrition bottle. Of course, Aero Garden Nutrition is very straightforward and specifically designed for Aero Garden. This is dry nutrition. We have to deal with dissolving the nutrients, measuring, etc. But this is very, very, very economical.